Hey, good afternoon, Chris Birch. I uh, just wanted to chime in real quick. It is mid-afternoon, um, what is today, Tuesday, and I am currently getting ready to jump on the computer. I'm here at the shop printing and designing and everything else, but we've got two auctions in Baltimore, in Pigtown, which is where we actually own one property now. Uh, current house we own is on the same block as both of these auctions. Uh, starting bid is 50000 on each of them. They're both uh, tenant occupied, paying about $1,000 a month. Uh, so let's go inside and jump on the computer and see what happens. All right, so you see here it is tenant occupied. Uh, we've already added the deposit. The annual gross rent is like 11700 we got some pictures here of the inside. Living room, bathroom, bed, another bed, another laundry area. And as you see up here, we're waiting to go live with the auction. Um, you can see here in the description, it's lead free, which is great in the city of Baltimore. I don't know if you guys know about lead free certificate, but that is mandatory on a rental property in this area. Uh, current gross monthly rent is 975, annual is 11700. And as I said, our starting bid on this property is 50,000. So we go back to pictures hot water heater, basement. Yep, really pretty newly updated uh, heat pump. Gas meter. Uh, it's got rear entrance, which is sweet for, in the city of Baltimore especially, uh, to have available parking, especially in Washington Village or in Pigtown. Parking can be a real nightmare, especially if there's a baseball game or a football game. Parking is a is a premium in that area. Let's see if they have any. Yeah, so they have the the famous steel cage on the condenser unit outside, and then electric meter. So we got. You know, three minutes left on this or three minutes until it starts it's supposed to start here at 1240 you see up top it's 1237 all right so we're back on live waiting on this auction to start So I will mention that um, me personally, I probably won't bid on this with the opening bid of 50. Um, I really, for training purposes, wanted to share this because it shows the value of this neighborhood. So here we go, we just started. Bid at 50 is the opening bid. What as I say, what I was saying is it shows how this neighborhood's changing. Look, we're current bid 55. Next bid is 60. We got a bid at 60, 65. Wow. To the best of my knowledge, comps in this neighborhood are between one, 125 and 145, and that's completely redone. But this house is occupied, has a current tenant. Um, so someone's basically going to be taking over the current lease agreement that the owners have. But for current bid is at 70, 975 a month. You're looking at four to five year return on your investment. If the rent stays where it stays, minus taxes, insurance and all that stuff. Um, so not bad. I mean, if you have if you have the funds 
that you need to put them and get the funds moving somewhere, not a bad deal at all. Um, you're going to be cash flowing just 11700 a year if the rents stay. So it changed increment now. The bid increment changed to 2500 So the current bid is 77500 Asking is 80000 But I just want to show this to you guys. This is one of the tools that I use. Um, one for research, and two, you do find some deals. Um, I'm, as I said, I'm sitting at the office now, doing our regular print stuff. But I'm able to sit here on a computer, jump on a live auction. If I choose the bid, I can. Um, you know, but this is one of the tools I use uh, day to day. I mean, I, I put a deposit down. Uh, just in case I wanted to bid and nobody wanted to bid at the up oh, they're calling last call um, if I if I chose to bid at 50 you know I have my deposit active and you will pay I believe it's a 5% auction fee of your final purchase price all right someone went eight they went 80 okay all right I mean, that's really, really starting to show the increased value. Um, someone's willing to pay 30000 above the ask with rents at, you know, 900 and some change a month. It is occupied, but you do have all the maintenance and everything else that comes with renting. But, you know, if you're the, the, the investor that needs to put it somewhere, this is not a bad deal. Up oh, went to 81. Whew. Okay. And they're actually um I didn't mention this. They're they're actually auctioning the house directly next door to this one right after this one. So let's see. Up oh, 82. See, I kind of enjoy being in here with the heat on at the shop versus standing out there freezing. 83. They are milking this for every thousand dollars. Good grief. You guys think you think 84 maybe 85 or you think we're gonna get stuck here at 83 I'm assuming we're gonna get a last call pretty soon so there are people actually at the property right now so they're doing this online simulcast but you could actually follow them around uh, on their auction days and actually go to the property with them Usually you don't get access to go inside. You're actually doing it on the steps of the property. Um, but it's really cold outside and it's a whole lot easier to sit here and do it on the laptop. Yeah, we might be having a, a discussion at the steps. We seem to be frozen. Stuck at 83,000 for a two bed, one bath. It's like a thousand square feet. Tenant occupied, you'd be assuming the rental agreement of the previous owner. I think it's probably going to go for 83 because they're, they're definitely stopped.
I'll tell you what, I will pause it now and come back with the final. On to the second one. Opening bid was 50 and they went 60, 70, 80. They went straight to it. Um, I'm going to throw in a uh, screenshot of the one we were just looking at, which was 1116. This is directly next to it at 1118 uh, Washington Boulevard. This one's got a higher gross rent. Gross rent on this one's 13 13,700 a year. Um, very similar uh, to the one adjacent to it. Seems to be in great condition. Um, you look at some of the picks while they're bidding. It's clean. I mean, whoever had these properties uh, maintained them. And uh, I'm assuming from what appears that these are long-term tenants um, on both of these properties. Wow, so they're looking at they're looking for eighty five thousand. The one next door I uh, mentioned that the final bid was eighty four thousand. It closed at eighty four. So this one I'm assuming they're probably going to change the increments to a thousand. Let's see what they do. They're asking for a five thousand increment right now, but the one directly next to it sold for eighty four. So could be close. They seem to be stalled, so I'll come back and throw a screen screenshot uh, of this bid close as well. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It was great fun doing the auction today. I hope you guys learned a ton, but do me a favor. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and the bell to learn when I'm going live next.